Okay. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. Our leader in battle, his will to make known. And from the beginning, the battle we are winning. Give praise unto his name, he forgets not his own. I know some people in Lincoln County, a lot of us, most of us, had a good Thanksgiving. We were with people that we loved and that loved us, and we had good food. But I want to ask you this question. I want to ask you this question. Why is it when we get together with the people that we love, and that love us, we have good food. Why is it we don't want the Lord there? Why is that? The one that died for us, the one that loves us more than anybody. Why is it that we don't want Him at our family gathering? Why? You think that we would be longing, just longing for the one that we love to be there with us with the other ones that we love. Why is it that it's not that way? Anybody thank the Lord for our president? Trump, that's his name. Anybody thank the Lord for President Trump? I do. Hey, glory to God. I do. It's, but it's like that most everybody in Lincoln County, a, a, a vast majority, they think, they do thank God for President Trump. They do. But it's like we can't say anything because something's going to come out of the woodwork and grab us. We're afraid to say anything for some reason. But I'm not going to be afraid because Jesus is not afraid. He doesn't mind to say that he loves President Trump. He's glad to do that. I love him too. I love President Trump. I thank God for giving us a man that thinks about marriage as being important and family as being important. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for President Trump that he nominated a righteous man for the Supreme Court instead of two godless witches. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that President Trump wants to stop the domination tactics of Islam. I do too. I'm thankful for President Trump. I'm thankful to God. Thank you, God, that you've given us a good economy that we can go ahead and work and put our focus on you, Lord. I'm thankful, God. Thank you for President Trump. And I pray, Lord, I pray that this people will give you thanks instead of being afraid. Give you thanks for the glory, the good that you've done. And I pray you'd help President Trump. Help him, God. Help him and lead him and cause him to draw near to you, God. Help me to do the same. Help all this people to do the same. Okay. Can God do anything? Everybody says, yes, God can do anything. Glory. I believe that too, but he can't lie. He can't do some things. He can't do anything that's unrighteous or ungodly. But as far as things that are uh, power and right, God can do it. Okay, here's the question. Could God come down to the earth in the form of a man? Could God come down to the earth in the form of a man? Could God do that? That's something to think about, though. Like you'd be looking with some, like a little baby, not even as big as that little boy. A little baby, and God, that's God in that body. 
Somebody picks him up, picks that baby up, and they're holding God. That's something to think about. You know, those wise men, by the time they got to where Jesus was, he wasn't a baby anymore. We think of it, but he wasn't. He was a young child, the Bible says. So those, those, young, those uh, wise men, they were looking in the eyes of God. And God was looking into their eyes. You know what they did? They got down on their knees. They bowed and worshiped that little child. They bowed and worshiped that child. The Bible says his name will be called Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. It says his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. That's what he'll be called. That's who he was. How are we going to escape if we neglect so great salvation that God came down in the form of a man and hung on nails so that he could offer us to choose him? How are we going to escape if we neglect that? There's no way of escape because we're doomed already if we don't choose him. We're under condemnation right now unless we choose the Lord. You know, I thought about this. Eight billion people, eight billion people, God looks down and sees one boy, me. He sees me and he comes down in front of me and offers me to choose him. That's amazing that God would think about one person, a nobody, and come down and say, I love you. And offer me to step out and choose him. Amen. That's what I did. I stepped out and chose the Lord. At the Baptist church, I gave an altar call. Have you ever come to the Lord? Have you ever made that step of confessing the Lord Jesus as your Savior? Will you do it right now? We, we stand up and call on the Lord, confess Him out loud as your Savior. We stand up right now and do that. Used to, you couldn't come to God. But when, when God, Jesus in the form of a man, when God loved enough that he laid his life down that made the way that he could come up to us and offer him now it's not a sin question anymore it's not a sin question anymore it's a love question do you have any love for the one that died for you